and namaste my name is Siri Satimal Sina and for the video project of ecosystem conservation I have chosen my topic at Chitto National Park Nepal it is very famous for 100 rhino so let's go to Nepal and know more about the rhino and Chitto National Park welcome to Nepal Nepal is a landlocked country with extraordinary variety of landscapes vegetation, wildlife, and culture. High altitude difference from top of the world, Mount Everest, whose altitude is 8,848 meter to 51 meter above the sea level within just 200 km of horizontal distance that makes Nepal one of the most beautiful country in the world and rich in biodiversity. Although Nepal has total surface area of 147,181 square kilometer, which is just two times larger than area of Tasmania, Nepal is home for 3.96% mammal species, 8.9% bird species, 2.8% flowering species. In Nepal, there are 35 different forest types which include tropical, subtropical, temperate, subalpine, and alpine. There are 118 types of ecosystem in Nepal such as wetland ecosystem, mountain ecosystem, grassland ecosystem, etc. There are 10 national parks. 3 wildlife reserves, 6 conservation areas, and 100 reserves in Nepal, which covers more than 25% of Nepal's surface area. Now, let's talk about Chito National Park, Nepal. Chito National Park was established in 1973 AD. It has an area of 932 square kilometer. Chito National Park is the first national park of Nepal. In 1984, Chito National Park was listed in UNESCO World Heritage Site because it is a wonderful example of biological evolution with varieties of flora and fauna. The Chito National Park is located in Chito District of Nepal, which is in the southern center part of Nepal. The landscape of Chito National Park has altitude of 100 to 815 meters. Talking about natural values of Chito National Park, Chito National Park has tropical monsoon climate with high precipitation in July to September. The average temperature of Chito National Park is 25 degree to 34 degree Celsius. The Chito National Park has a greater impact in wildlife of Southern Asia as it is surrounded by other protected areas such as in the south, Chito National Park is connected with the India's Balmiki Tiger Reserve and in the north, it is surrounded by Mahabharat foothills through the ecological corridor of north-south in South Asia which is used by many wildlife to enter hilly or higher elevation ecosystem. In 1996, an area of 750 square kilometer was announced as buffer zone around Chito National Park, which contains 55% as agricultural land where there is more human mobility and 45% as forest. The population of people living in buffer zone is 250,000. These people are dependent on Chito National Park for their living. For example, there are native peoples which are called Harun. These peoples are involved in fishing, agriculture, beekeeping, and tourism. The Chito National Park is one of the major hotspots in Nepal because of its natural beauty, diversity in native flora and fauna, and habitat of 100 rhino. The Chito National Park has suitable ecosystem for many threatened species, such as Greater One Horn Rhinoceros, Royal Bengal Tiger, Asian Elephant, and South Asian River Dolphin. In this video, I am going to focus on One Horn Rhinoceros. 
Aichito National Park is famous for having high density of rhino in South Asia. Rhinoceros are the largest land mammals after the elephant. The word rhinoceros comes from the Greek word rhino which means nose and cerus means horn. There are five species of rhinos. Among them, two of them are African and three of them are Asian. The one horn rhinoceros, which is also called Gaida, it is one of the threatened species which is listed in IUCN Red List and it is also listed in the National Parks and Wildlife Conservation Act 1973 of Nepal as a protected species. The weight of an adult rhino is between 2 to 2.5 metric tons and its average height is 5.75 to 6.5 feet. Rhinoceros mostly have a solitary life, but they together graze and wallow. One hunt rhinoceros loves to wallow for average of 8 hours per day. Sexually, female rhinos are mature faster than male rhino. Historically, one hunt rhinoceros is distributed in South Asia and Southeast Asia. Habitat of one hunt rhinoceros is alluvial flood plain vegetation of subtropical climates with availability of water and green grass all year. The Chiton National Park is suitable for rhino habitat. There are many threats for one horn rhinoceros in Chiton National Park, Nepal which is categorized into endogenous and exogenous disturbance. Endogenous disturbance includes natural disturbance for one horn rhinoceros, such as flood, vegetation succession, and habitat degradation due to the invasive species plant. The intensity of grassland favorable for rhino may have declined because of flood and vegetation succession. Regular flood within Chito National Park along major rivers which creates declination of Saccharium spontaneum which is one of the mostly eaten grass by rhino. On the other hand, invasive species plant such as Mycania micrantha is rapidly growing in Chito National Park which is affecting rhino habitat as rhino doesn't eat mycania and mycania is covering rhino's edible grass. Exogenous disturbance Exogenous disturbance includes illegal poaching, human encroachment, and political conflict. One hunt rhinoceros have been killed by people for their horn, skin and bones, which is sold in black market. There are rumors that the horn of one horn rhinoceros is used in medicines for the traditional treatment of various diseases. And there has been illegal trade for rhinos horn mostly in Asian country like Vietnam and China where people are willing to pay thousands of dollars for rhino's horn. Habitat degradation of rhino by human encroachment which leads to air, water and sound pollution that disrupt the usual lifestyle of rhino and also Due to the political conflict and instability, it has become much easier for the poacher to kill rhinos and other endangered species. Mycania micrantha is one of the rapidly growing 
invasive species in Chitnaw National Park. Mycania is commonly found in fertile area where there is high organic matter, soil moisture and humidity. It has been recorded that Mycania grow up to 27 mm a day. As a result, it harms other vegetation, obstructing sunlight and making them smoother. In a specific study of Mycania, scientists from the National Trust for Nature Conservation Nepal, with support from Center for Agriculture and Bioscience International and the Geological Society of London, have found a significant negative relationship between high Mycania coverage and the population of rhinos. This is because Mycania vines smoother the floater plant that the rhinos feed on. This could also be influencing their movements to other areas of the parks where they feed on resources and crops important to local people. And this will lead to conflict between the local peoples living in buffer zones and the wildlife in Chiton National Park. Talking about climate change, Chitong National Park has been suffering from massive unpredicted flooding almost every year, which leads to the degradation of many wildlife and their habitat. The effect of climate change on unpredicted drought and flooding events have been found in Nepal, including drastic winter drought and massive monsoon flooding. The impact of global warming that leads to the climate change have the most impact in mountainous and developing countries like Nepal, which has high intensity of snow melt in summer and high rainfall during the rainy season than predicted. It has resulted in natural calamities like heavy floods, landslide, and soil erosion. Many wildlife and people living in buffer zone have been suffering from flood and high rainfall. As flood was out, wildlife habitat and green grass on which they feed, there is also the chance of habitat loss in Chitong National Park because of climate change. about stakeholders and conservation measures in Chitong National Park. The National Trust for Nature Conservation Nepal, which works under Department of National Parks and Wildlife Conservation Nepal, has been actively participating in managing and promoting national parks and conservation areas of Nepal. This organization has been implementing policies which includes protecting wildlife from illegal hunting and conservation of wildlife habitat. Similarly, the International Union for Conservation of Nature IUCN, has been working in Nepal since 1960s whose aim is to conserve biodiversity to improve and secure livelihood. IUCN has organized many programs which directly or indirectly has contributed to better livelihoods and has promoted biodiversity conservation with active participation of local communities in buffer zone of Chitong National Park. Likewise, in 1967, WWF Nepal was formed. And this WWF Nepal have, has been actively promoting conservation of rhinos from projects like Hariyoban National Rhino Count 2015 in Chitong National Park. Some local communities such as Tharus are involved in conservation of wildlife and their habitat by promoting Chitong National Park as tourist hot spot. In April 11, 2015, 
under the leadership of Department of National Parks and Wildlife Conservation with the joint support from National Trust for Nature Conservation and other conservation partners. Rhino Count program was conducted in Nepal. From this Rhino Count program, it has been result as 21% remarkable increase in rhinoceros population. That is, the population of rhino in 2011 was 534 and in 2015 was 645. In 2016, government of Nepal declared as a fourth year of zero rhinoceros poaching in Nepal. Similarly, Tarai Act Landscape Strategy Plan and National Greater One Hun Rhino Conservation and Management Strategy has been implemented for the conservation measure of One Hun Rhino in Nepal. And also, National Wildlife Crime Control Coordination Committee was established on November 2010. This committee has accelerated, harmonized, and improved spy networks within poacher and smuggler with the intention to stop illegal hunting. So as a result, more than 2,400 people were arrested under Nepal's National Parks and Wildlife Conservation Act of 2009. In this video, I mentioned about Sito National Park and successful study of one Hun Rhinoceros conservation in Nepal. This successful study of one Hun Rhino can be example for some national parks of Africa where there are declination of rhino's population due to the illegal hunting. At the end of the video, this rhino is saying that his horn is not medicine. So please share the truth about rhino horn and help stop the illegal hunting of rhinos before it's too late. Thank you all for watching my video.